Vocabulary. Verbs plus prepositions. 1. Underline the correct alternatives. 1. After waiting, for, months, James decided it was the right time travel, to, the world. 2. I'm moving, to, the USA in August. At the moment I'm waiting, for, my visa. 3. I was born in Pakistan in a village with no school. I've always dreamt, about, going, back, there to open a school for the children. 4. Sal's thinking, about, doing an art course. She's looking, for, someone who can teach her how to paint. Match the sentence halves. 1. When are you going? C. Back home. Have you booked your ticket yet? When are you going back home? Have you booked your ticket yet? 2. I'm looking. E. For my bag. Have you seen it anywhere? I'm looking for my bag. Have you seen it anywhere? 3. She's traveling. F. Around America at the moment on a bus. She's traveling around America at the moment on a bus. 4. He's okay. He's waiting. G. For a friend. He's okay. He's waiting for a friend. 5. They moved. A. To Berlin because they want to be near his family. They moved to Berlin because they want to be near his family. 6. Please wait. B. For me here. I'll only be a few minutes. Please wait for me here. I'll only be a few minutes. 7. Do you want to think? D. About it for a while and tell me later. Do you want to think about it for a while and tell me later? Grammar. Used to. Complete the sentences with the correct form of used to and the verbs in the box. Not visit. Not like. Spend. Not come. Stay. Run. Study. Read. B. One we didn't use to visit our cousins very often when we were young. Two I used to read a lot of books as a child. But now I only read the newspapers. 3. Did you use to study? You, French at school. 4. There used to be a cinema in the town center, but it's closed now. 5. Did you use to spend, you, a lot of time with your grandparents? 6. We used to stay in a small hotel by the sea every summer. 7. My father was always very fit. He used to run 8 kilometers every morning. 8. He didn't use to like her because he thought she was rude. Now he's fallen madly in love. 9. Tourists didn't use to come here very often. But now the place is very popular. Read the text and look at the pictures. Then write sentences with used to, didn't use to using the prompts. Ten years ago. James Turnbull and Harry Potts left their office jobs in London to move to Tobago and open a bar on the beach. Now, ten years later. They own two hotels, a restaurant and a nightclub. When James told his colleagues at work about his plans, they thought he was crazy. So when the pair opened their first bar, they called it the Crazy Bar. It's been a great success. One James and Harry, work, London. James and Harry used to work in London. 2. They, dream, a life on the beach. They used to dream about a life on the beach. 3. They, sit in traffic, 
on the way to the office. They used to sit in traffic on the way to the office. Four Harry wear a suit to work. Harry used to wear a suit to work. Five James not spend his time sitting on the beach. James didn't use to spend his time sitting on the beach. Six they not eat tropical fruit for breakfast. They didn't use to eat tropical fruit for breakfast. Seven they not wear shorts and a t-shirt to work. They didn't use to wear shorts and a t-shirt to work. Eight they not go surfing at the end of the day. They didn't use to go surfing at the end of the day. Nine James colleagues think he was crazy. James colleagues used to think he was crazy. Unit 7. Changes. Recording 1. 1. She used to be very shy. 2. I didn't used to have a car. 3. My granddad used to give me sweets. 4. I never used to study at school. 5. They used to live in America. 6. Did you used to go to the cinema? Unit 7, recording 2. 1. Used to be. She used to be very shy. 2. Didn't used to have. I didn't used to have a car. 3. Used to give. My granddad used to give me sweets. 4. Used to study. I never used to study at school. 5. Used to live. They used to live in America. 6. Did you used to? Did you used to go to the cinema? Before they were famous. 1. Did you know that Brad Pitt once delivered fridges and George Clooney was a shoe salesman? If you find you are not doing very well and dream about being famous, don't give up. Some of the most famous celebrities started their working lives in some very simple jobs. 2. When Madonna first arrived in New York, looking for fame and fortune, she only had $35 in her pocket. She took a job working at Dinky Donuts in Times Square, but later lost her job for squirting jam at one of the customers. 3. Brian Cranston, star of TV drama Breaking Bad, worked on his grandparents' chicken farm while he was studying political science at university. He originally wanted to work as a police officer before he discovered he had a talent for acting. 4. Before being an actor, Johnny Depp used to sell pens. He used to telephone people to sell them pens with their names printed on them. But he didn't enjoy the job, so sometimes he tried using different voices on the telephone to make the job more interesting. 5. As a teenager, Rachel McAdams worked at a fast food restaurant during her summer holidays, for three years. It sounds like she wasn't a great employee, either as she spent a lot of time washing her hands. I was not a great employee, Rachel says. I broke the orange juice machine one day. 6. 
Before Kanye West became famous, he worked as a sales assistant at Gap Clothes Shop. He raps about it in the song Spaceship from his first album, The College Dropout. Let's go back, back to the Gap. Writing. Paragraphs. 8. Read the text and number the sentences in each paragraph in the correct order. 1 introduces the main idea. 2 supports the idea. 3 finishes or concludes the paragraph. Reach for the sky. Do you wake up in the morning excited about what the day will bring? Or do you dream about living the life you really want to live? The good news is that it's always possible to make changes that will improve your life. Here are some tips. Set new goals. 1. What exactly do you want to change in your life? 2. Decide on some new goals to help you achieve this change and write them down. 3. Writing down your goals is the first step towards achieving them. Do something different. 1. Do you spend a lot of your time doing the same things every day? 2. Try not doing something for a while, like not watching television for one week. 3. This will give you time to try doing something different. Think about now. 1. Don't spend too much time thinking about the past and worrying about decisions you have already made. 2. And don't worry about things which haven't happened yet. 3. If you try to focus on the present, things will seem easier.